Hey guys, I'm Chelsea. I'm currently sleeping in my car so that I can go through everything in my storage unit. Awkward. And get rid of everything that I own. And once I do, we're going on a road trip to Michigan. trying to make the effort to vlog every single day with you guys and show you what the reality of living in your car is like because I see so many people talk about how amazing it is. I'm adjusting to it but the adjustment period sucks. <laughs> Let me tell you what, even if you're prepared. Good morning. What up? <laughs> I had a really good night's sleep last night. I already took down all the trash bags that were over my windows, which this is a pain in the butt. I do not recommend doing this. Make curtains before you go anywhere if you're gonna do something like this. Tape gets all messed up just like this, as you can see. And then the tape starts sticking to the actual trash bags. And I had to tape two trash bags together here. The way I cut them, they only fit certain windows, so I have to figure out which one fits what window the best so that it doesn't peel off. I don't want everyone to be able to see into my vehicle while I'm sleeping. That's just really creepy. When I so this is the only solution I had so far because I do need to cover my windows. But this takes so long. The first night I did this, it took me, I'd say like two hours, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. And the entire time, I was really scared because it was my first night sleeping in here. You guys, my face literally looked like this as soon as it started getting dark. And I just didn't prepare for what it would actually be like sleeping in a dark parking lot. Like it's so different when you're there. Once you're in this situation, this was me when I realized that parking lots are really freaking dark. Hello, darkness, my old I realized what I got myself into and I was scared <laughs> oh my god I was like oh can I rewind can I get a hotel but anyway we slept through the night and here we are and so every car that came by I would like slink down <laughs> and hide from it you know because their lights would be coming into the vehicle I didn't know if they could see me I was really worried but it's been three nights now that I've slept in here and I'm I'm getting more comfortable with it. Like it's not as scary. I had this set up with the movie I was watching. I had my snacks, my water. A girl was chilling. It was nice. I was so relaxed. I had my bed laid out, which is extra comfy because I put mattress that I bought underneath my blanket. I found it in my storage unit yesterday. <laughs> it's like, it's a really expensive mattress. You can see all the memory foam and things like that. But I got it on sale. Always got to find a deal. I go to go to bed, right? I go to wipe my makeup off, go to bed and everything. And I lay down and I'm like, oh, this is nice, you know, getting cozy and everything. And then I hear what sounds like someone getting murdered. Not even kidding. I recorded it. over there is a huge lake with alligators by the way so it's probably an alligator tearing up a bird or something last night i don't know yeah so i also learned if i'm gonna stay the night somewhere don't go there at night be able to see the surroundings during the day first because you don't know what's around there so we're going up there first though i need to go to the storage unit load up my car with things that i want to keep um, for the first round of me going through my things, that's going to take me all day because the storage unit is packed and I have to take everything out to get to like my contacts and other things like that. And I'll load up the car since I will now have the space because I'm not going to be sleeping back here. It'll be great. And I'm taking you guys along with me. Okay. Let's get out of here. 
Let me call this campsite and see if I can shower there because I don't want to be around people like this right now. sourdough breakfast sandwich and then could I please get a large ice water okay. and can I get three shots of espresso over ice with cream and sugar Anything else? nope that'll be it you can thank you I told you guys I was gonna get a breakfast sandwich I already knew it does anyone else get anxious like when you pull up to a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts and, or even a McDonald's and you're sitting at the window waiting for your food. I never know what to do. I just kind of sit here. Thank you. Uh, no, thanks. Okay, three, two, one. And we're back. <laughs> I found a bathroom in Walgreens and now I am on my way to the storage unit. Also want to plan where you're gonna shower because I haven't done that yet and it's like day four. Brother, and I feel really gross. I just went in and changed my clothes in Walgreens. I feel less alone taking you guys on this journey and I'm sweating. We have arrived. I have to wait. <laughs> okay, now we have arrived. <laughs> Here we are. But my dream is to get one of these RVs, like a big old RV, or even like, that's a really cool one. But I don't have a car that could pull that. Every time I see one like that, like a trailer like that, I always wonder if it's built out. Man, if you can afford one of these, or if you had a way to get one, you are very lucky. And that is really awesome. I'm very happy for you. Lots of construction here though. They're building more storage units. Last time I was here, all the RVs were actually right here. So I guess they moved them all. I spent the day sorting through my storage unit and I started putting stuff into my vehicle. And before I knew it, it was nighttime. So I figured I should start vlogging again and say hi to you guys. Look, you can see my shadow. Hey. <laughs> one of the items I bought way before my YouTube journey and I took it out of my storage unit and I tried to fit it in my car and it did not fit and I just kept thinking like oh my god how am I gonna I was trying everything to find a solution to take this TV with me because I wanted to give it to my mom <laughs> I don't know what to do because I'm going to do a road trip to Michigan so that I can give my mom some of my stuff because she really needs it. And if, and if I'm going to give it away or sell it anyway, I might as well give her the things she needs first. You guys, you see this jacket? This is actually a really old jacket from like, I think like the 70s or something. It was my aunt. She gave it to me when I was like 16 and I kept it. I hung on to it because it reminded me of her. Let's, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> We have a problem. I lost the keys. It's the worst problem to have. I really don't know where they are. Oh, <laughs> there's my keys. Very smart, right? You guys, this storage unit is so creepy at night. Let me tell you what. Look at that. Imagine walking down there. And then this light shuts off every couple minutes. So like, it's really dark in here. <sighs> but let me grab my keys before someone takes my car. This was a huge mistake leaving my keys there. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can get the TV in. I couldn't fit it just in the back. It was too tall. And then I can't fit it like this, it's too wide. I'm hoping it's not broke. I'm gonna be so mad if I bring it all the way back home and it's broken. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I'm gonna need to chug this coffee to make it through to the end. I'm just like so out of energy. I don't even want to do this right now, but I have to. I'm just going to stop talking, just get to it. 
because I still have to drive for hours just so I can get a shower and sleep. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> That's all. I'm probably going to sleep for like 24 hours, to be honest. See, here I am. I'm already falling asleep, like standing up. I just, I gotta sit you guys down. Or I'm gonna talk forever, and I'm not gonna get anything done. And I'm just gonna fall asleep in my actual storage unit. I'm just gonna lay down and just call it a day. <laughs> I'm pretty much attempting the impossible with what I'm about to do with this freaking table. Okay, if I just turn it this way, right? I get it closer. As close as possible. Okay. And then turn it like this, right? And I lean it and lift it at the same time. And then we'll really find out if it'll actually fit. If not, that's gonna really suck. And then, <laughs> okay, this is not a good choice. Let me show you what I'm doing. So what I'm thinking that I can lean this this way, like at an angle. And while it's at that angle, like this, I can lift it at the same time and push it in. either gonna go in I don't know if it's gonna work though because I don't know if I, I don't know if it's gonna work oh no because I don't know if my it'll actually fit it's a problem oh no it won't fit oh come on oh no I really wanted to take this home but it won't fit so I guess I'm not taking it today. But I'm coming back for it because this is my grandma's table and me and her got it together. It's our first thing we ever bought together. It was my first piece of furniture ever. And I don't want to leave it forever. This is really a pain in the butt and this is really going downhill really fast. I'm not having a good time, but and I will have to do it at some point anyway. Might as well just get it done. Suffer through it. Was that a gunshot? Cool. <laughs> this right here. <laughs> this I bought for my best friend Melissa months ago. I'm talking like four to six months ago and I saved it because I'm still giving it to her and I have slippers that match. I don't know where they are. We were supposed to have this whole girls night where we matched in our pajamas and our slippers and everything and then all this chaos happened and we didn't get to do it. This is actually a surprise for her, but if she watches this, she's gonna know ahead of time. Or not. I don't know. It depends when this comes out. So. Oh my. Why? Why? All the other lights stay on forever. This one turns off every two seconds. I'll be back. So every two seconds I can't see anything. And then I crush my finger under this computer.
Okay, I'm trying to move these carefully because there's glass from this breaking when it was put in here. So that glass that's up there is down here. And uh, I don't want to get cut. That would suck. When I first got to the storage unit, I noticed damage on some of my furniture and it was really getting to me. <laughs> my front tires are going flat. I thought it was only one. And this just happened when I left the storage unit and man, let me tell you, when I tell you the story of me being stuck in the storage unit, I'm just like, I'm just ready for this night to be over. I have a three hour drive. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. My tires start going flat, so. Y'all, this blows. I'm not even gonna lie this this sucks it's like four in the morning but i am blessed because i was able to put in a full tank of gas so i appreciate your blessings even though this freaking sucks it really does i really hope i can make it home <laughs> Crash ahead on I-95 and in a quarter mile. Two right lanes are closed. You're still on the fastest route. Just like this crash, I felt like my life was slowly crashing out right in front of my own eyes. And there's nothing I could do about it. You guys, while yes, some furniture was messed up, the damage wasn't that bad. Like obviously the mirror armoire is just completely done for, which sucks <laughs> because that was like my favorite. Um, the bookshelves would need to be completely remodeled. I'm not really sure how you do that with that damage and since they're not like made of wood, I have no idea. And all the surfaces, basically every surface space was just scratched to hell. <laughs> like my desks, my um, dresser and all that. But I think with some effort, people could probably paint over that. I don't know. I feel like all the furniture just would have had to turn into like huge DIY projects to fix them up and... Um, there was just no way I could do that. I mean, I did not have time, but it'd probably be doable in the long run if someone really wanted to put in the time to do it. It's completely doable, and I'm just happy that I did get the opportunity to go through my stuff. Like, no matter how it ended up in there, I'm just glad that I had the chance to, like, go through it and pick out the things that I needed to keep. But at this point, it wasn't even, like, really about, like, the furniture. You know, I mean, it just, yeah, it sucked seeing it, but a lot of it was fixable. It was more so like the the fact that it was like one more thing I had to deal with in an already overwhelmingly stressful time. You know, I just felt like my life was falling apart. I was like scared and stressed and just so many other things I was dealing with. And this just was like the cherry on top of it all that just made it all crumble down for me. And I, um... Yeah, I just let it get to me, but don't worry, I'm resilient as hell, and I refuse to let things get me down for long, so I'm definitely gonna bounce back. You already know how I am. I don't let anything get me down, and I just come back swinging. <laughs> but first, before I come back kicking butt, I need to cry it out and talk it out with myself because I'm an emotional girl. I'm a tough one, but I also have emotions. You know, it's normal, so here's a clip of me just basically doing that just talking to myself while driving back to my aunt's house just trying to make sense of everything because that's just what i do i i do these like little video diaries just to make sense of my life because i mean if i don't have anyone to talk to i just have myself and sometimes i i need clarity i need that conversation you know a little self-reflection never hurts so i just needed to talk myself through it so that I could move on. And that's that's what this is. I can't wait to get out of this area, like just completely get out. I just hate it so much now. I need a new life. I need a completely new life. I need to purge everything out of my life and just start over. It's hard to start over. Like you don't want to. Like it's hard to let go of stuff. And I'm struggling.
grateful for and I'm grateful for so much. Like I'm grateful that I have some of my grandma's china in here. I drove all the way back home and man, waking up at my aunt's house in the spare bedroom was so nice after all that work and Pumpkin was there. Look how cute she is. these boxes out of the storage unit. I might actually need to move this box first. Dang. They are actually filled to the brim with books, like hardcover books. I don't know if you've ever lifted a box full of hardcover books before, but it's like a hundred pounds per box. And the angle I had to lift them was absolutely insane. It was so difficult and there was like oh, six it. boxes of those and I had to take them all out because I had to decide which books I was yeah. going to keep and if I was already going to be homeless, like reading and writing was my favorite thing and if I have to get rid of everything in my life, I wanted to hold on to the one thing that I had my entire life, which was writing and being able to read. So I was not giving that up at this moment and I wanted to at least have the choice of which books I was going to keep. I can do it on my own. <sighs> Watch me pass out now. <laughs> so that's why I'm putting in all this effort. Whew, I'm a little spinny. It's okay. okay. Well, now what? I think if I bring it up here, it'd be easier to bring it across. Right, this next box is just books. It's definitely okay to stand on. I'm dead. I'm up. I'm dead again. I'm alive. I'm dead again. I'm up. Okay, I got the first box of books out. Now I just have to do that six more times. I loaded up the car and then I went back for a few more boxes that my aunt said she'd store at the house for me. I really don't know how I actually did that. But that was insane. And I feel like I'm puke now. My heart is racing so fast. I literally think I'm gonna throw up for real though. So. I'm gonna point you guys over here. I try not to puke my brains out. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna do it this time. Like, I don't know how last time is even harder than this. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe I don't know, because last time was so hard. Because I had to lift all the heavy stuff from up above me. Like, this second time around, I moved it to make it easier. Just chilling. I was gonna lay back, like with my hands behind my head, like just.
I hurt my finger. I literally set the box right on top of my pinky. But it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Ow. I did it again. It's a lot to do by yourself. But we're getting it done. We are strong, independent women. Yeah. We are, you know. We're gonna be tired and sore, independent women, in a second. We're gonna be taking a nap in the storage unit, independent women, in a second. <laughs> but we got this. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going because I wanna do two trips tonight. It's actually gonna be morning time by the time I come back. And we're gonna be so tired. What needs to be done? So I'm trying to get it done before Thanksgiving. But I might have to finish up on Thanksgiving, which is not what I want to do. I just want to... I just want to have... I just want to have it done, honestly. Hey guys, good morning. So, today is a weird one for me. It is because of many things, but... The main thing is that I am going to my storage unit for the last time today and as much as I am ready to just go in, get the last of my stuff and get this whole situation over and be able to finally move on with my life, I'm stalling a little bit. I'm still at it. I have all the space left. And that was it. This is the last time I will ever see any of this stuff again. It's weird looking back on all the things that used to make up your life for so long, knowing that I'm walking away from everything without knowing what's to come. that's that's it that is the end and it is really weird let me get the car loaded up i get lost inside my thoughts and when i start to think oh the time how close it starts to end up on the break i tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep i bleed I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone